no, this is Sean from Oculus. AI is the rage at the moment. Everybody is claiming that AI can solve every single business problem. This may be true. However, the proof's in the pudding. We've done some really great business cases, and the one that I'm going to present is around customer churn or customer retention. I hope you enjoy it. As one of the biggest short-term insurance companies in South Africa, they had about 19 years of customer history, so a really rich um, environment. They had massive volumes of customers, so they literally dominated that whole market. And the problem that they were having is they were getting new entrances in the market. As a, as a leader within the space, they were looking at ways to curb churn and uh, make sure that their customers stayed with them. And what they started finding that it is very expensive, the more customers they got on board and uh, to start acquiring customers, uh, whether it be through normal traditional ways or through um, new social media ways. So it became really very expensive to acquire customers. And what they wanted to do is they want to know when the customer is or is about to churn. Very important because if they didn't know, it caught them a little bit uh, left, uh, left field and they didn't know when it was happening. And they were looking at ways that they can start making customers stay within the organization and find ways to be able to get things that the customers would want to be able to stay. And obviously, the most important thing is to keep their customers happy. As a customer is happy, is going to stay with your services. So as an organization, and when they signed up a new customer within the insurance space, and, and I think that's why it's such an important use case is that all of us or most of us have either got insurance or have insurance and we know the process we we know what it's like to be unhappy with our service we know what it's like to feel that we've been done in because it's too expensive so this this client had when they signed up new clients they had a lot of information around the customers their name date of birth what their occupation is and then also what they had is is then the information around the policy. So when it was signed up, what was in the policy, uh, what are the terms and conditions and so forth. So they had a lot of rich information or what they thought was a rich information around uh, their customers. Then what happened was the customer would say, I wanna cancel. And this would be quite a surprise because up until that point, they thought their customers were all happy. And as you know that, or as a lot of people do know that uh, to acquire customers is a lot more, it's a lot harder and a lot more expensive than to actually keep your customers. So what did they start doing? They started asking the reasons why the customer left, whether they couldn't afford the payment, whether the, the premium was too much, whether they were not needing it anymore, whether they had bad service. And there was a whole lot of reasons that they sort of started picking up. And this started giving a trend because then you could start seeing if the customers weren't happy with the service, then the service offering wasn't great. So it gave some rich information and they started then asking the question. So the data team sat down and said, okay, well, what is those, what is the information that I can use and why are these customers doing? Is it because they are getting to a certain age or the policy is of a certain age or is it the type of in uh, equipment that's being um, insured or what is the actual cause that the customer would be leaving us and basically they started then when they they knew the customer was had said they want to cancel the policy they started this really reactive program to say okay guys how do how do we keep these customers how do we stay them within our organization and that was like no claim bonuses reduced premium uh, and even they tried a vip service that uh to stop them. But as, as you as a consumer would know, once you've decided to go, the chances that you're gonna stay is very slim. And that's what they started finding, that the amount of work that they're doing to try to keep these customers wasn't really adding up to, the, to them staying. So they re went to the drawing board and said, let's use technology to start doing this. And um, one of the things that they had already, they before the customer left them, was that they had the basic information in the customer's contract. But what they started ad adding together was then the customer experiences, the engagements that they had those those customers. So they had various channels that they were engaging, whether it be the CRM or the customer relationship management, the service desk, and they started picking up that, uh, that customers would come into the organization before they churned or 
to express their, their unhappiness or to express that their payments were too much. So um, they started seeing some sort of trends within the, uh, with the environment and also within social media um, when the customers started uh, giving bad reviews in terms of Facebook or wherever the case may be, and they started seeing that there was some sort of trend. And one of the other uh, factors they found that was obviously not as, or it wasn't as uh, pertinent as the rest, was external factors like the economy, uh, political situation, and then sometimes also like the job market. If they knew that the one of some sort of industry was uh, under pressure, that might cause a lot of uh, churn and things like that. And they could be proactive. So the whole idea was they they started putting all of this rich information into a database, start storing it into. Uh, a central place where they could start analyzing. And the problem with with this is the amount of data that they had is was far too much for people to actually analyze. And they needed some sort of speciality uh, techniques that they could do. And what they started doing is was moving to uh, machine learning and uh, then automating that machine learning algorithm into something that could make decisions for them. So the first thing that they did, and this is a little bit technical, but maybe it makes sense uh, in terms of uh, just understanding it. You, they grabbed all of this data and then they took about 75% of it and used a whole uh, range of different algorithms, tested different algorithms and wanted to find out what would be the predictor of customers leaving. So what would be the, the, the state and which algorithm or set of algorithms work together to be able to determine if somebody was going to do and what are those signs are doing. So if you think about it, there's rich information in terms of the data. Uh, the customer that might have a contract that is six years old, uh, that is um, six years old and has maybe phoned in uh, three, or, three or four times saying that the, the, they're not happy with their contract. They might have put a post onto um, social media and all of this contributes to a whole lot of breadcrumbs that uh, helps the algorithms then find those nuggets of information that will determine whether somebody will churn or not. And if they've seen it before, if the algorithm has seen it before, then there's a good possibility that the same factors or the same variables are together that somebody will churn. And this is really the fundamental of it. Secondly, what they did is then when they found a, a uh, algorithm that really worked well, then they took 75% of the of the information and used that algorithm to test it when it hadn't seen that information before and being able to determine if it is accurate or not. Because you don't want to be putting somebody in a VIP team or, or VIP um, intervention if the data isn't accurate. So you wanted a really high accuracy. And then what they what what we did with them is then put that algorithm that has been tested and put it into the live data stream. And then what the, the algorithm does is every, every minute of the day is looking for those signs, looking for those breadcrumbs to see if they've seen it before. And as the algorithm got smarter and smarter and more and more people and the accuracy got better, the more and more the, the algorithm could find whether the, the person was gonna churn on it, which is really great. So they could then start proactively looking at different ways to to keep the customer. So they didn't want to get to the point where the customer said, I'm going and I'm leaving and I'm packing my stuff, rather take them through the process of actually knowing that they are going to leave or there's a good chance that they're going to leave and then be able to put in all the same uh, practices that be, put them on a VIP, change their policies, revisit it and look for ways that they can actually make this really uh, slick for their customers. So some of the outcomes that really were, were great for this was they knew this, they started to know when the signals were with the customer. And if you did it with a person or with normal standard BI, you wouldn't actually be able to see this rich information. You needed a an algorithm that could sift through thousands and thousands of rows of data to find those nuggets of information to, to give you the indication if somebody was going to churn or not. And then to be able to proactively um, take those people and then um, and then basically pro proactively measure and get them to into a certain place. And then the big the big decrease was in the churn. They, the thing that they really wanted to achieve was that they reduced the churn within the organization and kept clients happy. 
uh, they wanted a better relationship or they received a better relationship so they knew what their customers want and then lastly what a spin-off what was really great about this project was that they started figuring out other programs that could increase their customer satisfaction like what type of programs uh, would keep the customers happy I'd like to say thank you very much for listening i hope this added value to you uh, we're always doing these type of projects that are looking at ways that we can uh, make customers' life a lot easier. And this was something that really made a lot of sense to that customer. And I think it makes a lot of sense to a lot of people is how do you keep your customers happy? And uh, this case study or this methodology made a big difference and reduced the overall cost for the customer. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. If you like this video, subscribe and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next video.